Hey dolls and friends, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michon and I do weekly DIYs, hauls, and other fun things. If you're not new, hey doll, hey. In today's video, I am sharing with you some really pretty wreath ideas. You guys know I love making wreaths and I have put together about five different wreaths that are going to fit any style that you're wanting whether it's neutral really colorful big and full small mini and quaint and you guys are really going to love this i really hope you guys do enjoy this and if you do make sure you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you're new i would love if you would consider subscribing and hitting the bell right next to it so you're notified every time that i upload if you've been around for a little while a couple of these are going to be just a little bit familiar to you but hey that is okay i wanted to give you guys some good tips and some hacks on wreath making and although i am not a pro at it just yet i have a really good handle on my style and what i like to make so I only look to the future for better wreath ideas for you guys. I also want to say that this video is in a partnership with Craft Ease, which is painting by numbers. You guys, I absolutely love their product that they send me. I cannot wait to share it with you. Just like wreath making, this painting by numbers is extremely therapeutic. It's so relaxing. I just put some music on or binge watch a show and I am just sitting there for hours. I really love it. I'll talk a little bit more about craft ease later on in the video, but for now, let's jump into the wreaths. For this summery wreath, I am using one of these willow wreaths from Dollar Tree. I've used it several times, so it looks really, really skinny. And from Walmart and Dollar Tree, I have a bunch of greenery, some boxwood, which is my favorite, some eucalyptus, some other greenery pieces from Walm I mean Dollar Tree and then a bunch of um, roses and florals from Dollar Tree and then I get my um, my lambs ears and this pretty pretty um, purple tulip bouquet I got these both from Walmart so the first thing I did is just cut everything down that is the easiest thing I feel for me to handle all of my reefs and make them to make them stretch a little bit further now this wreath right here is just going to be a more simplified wreath it's not as full as most of the wreaths that i do make but i just wanted to give options and everything so the first thing i did is just kind of poked everything through this wreath is one that i am not using much of any hot glue on like probably three percent hot glue <laughs> anyways i just poked through as many of the stems as I could. I really love this this kind of wreath because I can just stick it through. Um, and then I just put my um, tulips in first, then I put my yellow florals in there. I really don't know what these like drooping hanging ones are called, <laughs> but yeah. And then after that, I started to put in my greenery. Now I like to do my wreaths two different ways. I like to put the nice, colorful, pretty florals on first sometimes, and then put my greenery around that. Um, some other times I like to put my greenery on and then put my colorful flowers in after that, but it just depends on my mood. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that I always say my wreath making is the kind of mood that I'm in. Um, the kind of mood that I was in making this one was a confusing mood. <laughs> Not to say anything bad, but like I just had a lot going on and I just kind of needed an outlet and wreath making is so therapeutic. It's so calming and relaxing to me. I can like watch a show while I do it or listen to some music. But this time I was just kind of all over the place and I felt like that this wreath kind of spoke to <laughs> that mood that I was in. If you can relate, then hey, if you can't, I'm sorry, but this is how <laughs> I connect my wreath making. But after I put everything together, that is pretty much it. I cut down some of the tulips just so I can get them to stretch a little further and make the wreath look a little bit more full with the tulips around. So I cut those off and hot glued them in some places. And this is how it turned out. And it's really, really pretty. I absolutely love this wreath. And I think it will be so perfect for spring or even summer. And 
as i stated this video is in partnership with craft ease which is essentially paint by numbers absolutely love their product and once you go to craftease.com i will have that link in my description box below you will be able to choose from a variety of different paintings they have so many different styles so many different flavors for whatever you want i really love the options that they let you choose from now what comes in your box you get a canvas, a large canvas where you paint on, and then you get all the paints that are included on your canvas, and they are all numbered. This part is so much fun, putting everything together. All of the directions are on the box, on the inside of the box, and then you get other special instructions, and then you also are gonna get some coupons and things of that nature, but I really love the ease of this. It was so therapeutic, so relaxing. I just put some music on and just paint away, and literally the hours melt by. So if you are still at home or if you just need to step away from whatever it is that you're doing for work, school, kids, whatever. This is so relaxing, I absolutely love it. And you just paint those numbers, whatever color they coincide with. And honestly, you guys, when you are done, you step away and you have this beautiful painting that I can't even believe that I did. I mean, it is gorgeous and all you did was paint the numbers. <laughs> So if this is something that you think you'd be interested in, which I actually think that you guys would love this, the links are down in my description box below, as well as the link to the painting that I did, which is called Morocco City. And go ahead and go to the website and put in my code DIYAMBER20 so you can get 20% off of any painting that you choose. You guys are going to love this. Remember my code DIYAMBER20 for 20% off. All right, dolls, let's get back to the wreaths. For our next pretty summer wreath, I'm taking this large wreath form. I actually got this from Goodwill. It was $2.99 and it already had some florals on it, but I took it all off. Then I'm taking this beautiful blue bouquet from Walmart. I absolutely love this. It has a combination of like a baby's breath, wisteria, some roses. It has a little bit of everything. I absolutely love this bouquet. I have it in this blue color and I have it in like a peach pink color, which you'll see later on in this video. For this one, all I did was cut down all of the florals and just hot glued. I just hot glued it all around this one. This wreath is super huge and I just didn't feel like going through trying to stick everything through, although it could work. It was also really, really messy. It just kept breaking apart because these branches are just, uh, they're not, I don't want to say fragile, but it was just easily, easily breaking anyways. <laughs> so I just cut everything down and I just want to show this little hack to, for you guys. If you don't have enough florals to go around on your wreath, because my myself personally i like big wreaths but i also think that smaller wreaths are really cute and quaint and good for like your house but my hack for this is if i just go ahead and get a woodward so i got this from dollar tree you can also get them from target's dollar spot if they have them and of course obviously this says hello and then i just painted it using my white linen chalk paint from rustoleum i gave it about two coats and let it completely dry and then i just hot glued it down onto the reef to where it was touching and that just fills out your wreath you can put it on top you can put it on the bottom I chose the bottom for this one although the top did look really well but I just love being able to see all of those pretty roses at the top I just think this wreath is so gorgeous just so big and I love that it's reusable so I can just take everything off replace the roses I mean replace the florals with anything that is in the season or whatever I just absolutely love this For the next wreath, we're doing a small, cute summer wreath. So from Dollar Tree, I have this wicker um, wreath. And then from Walmart, I picked up these yellow florals last year. And then I have some more of these blue and yellow uh, hanging florals from Dollar Tree. And so what I did is I hot glued all of the yellow florals all around. I don't know what these are called actually because I'm reusing these. So I don't have like the tag where they came off of. <laughs> 
Um, but anyways, once I hot glued all of those down, this is one of those reefs where you don't have to use any green, any, this is one of those reefs where you don't have to use any greenery. So another hack for this is just to fill up one of your reefs with a bunch of florals that are just really pretty, that just really stand out and then put an opposing color in between um, those flowers and then that way it just pops. I love the brightness of this wreath. It screams summer to me. It like literally makes me want to like have like a lemonade or something like that. But I know that was pretty random. But <laughs> after that, I just hot glued also some more of these hanging blue florals in there in between. I thought I was going to put more yellow ones in there, but they were just a little too pastel for me. I was going for a bright summery wreath um, color, and I absolutely love this. I think it's so, so pretty, and it's so easy to do. It would look so great on your wall. Next up, we are making one of my favorite reefs I have ever made. So from Dollar Tree, I had another one of these wicker reefs. This one was just a little bit bigger than the first one in this video. And this is what I'm talking about when I do a lot of greenery on a wreath. So we all know, I know a lot of you like to make reefs. You don't have to have bright colors or any colorful florals in your wreath. I just wanted I wanted to take that and just make it my own so from Walmart I had this huge bouquet um, with these pink flowers that you see here um, on the top corner of the screen and um, it came with all of this greenery and I just knew that I had to put this greenery on here and make it stand out so that's pretty much what I did the greenery is the stand out and then I just put a little bit of the the blue bushes that it had on there the pink roses the peonies it's just so so pretty absolutely loved it you just put it on put all the colorful florals in one corner and you have a really fancy high-end chic looking wreath love this one it is still one of my favorite ones if you've been around for a while you've seen this before and i had to just include it in this video <laughs> Moving on to another one of my favorite wreaths. I call this my hello wreath. From Dollar Tree, I have this wire wreath. And hack for this, I'm sure a lot of people already know this, wrap it up with some burlap. And that is the easiest vehicle for you to be able to hot glue it down. Now you can hot glue it straight on to the wire, but I mean to the frame, but I don't really care for doing that because I feel like my hot glue always just drips everywhere and I don't feel like the cleanup. So I would just rather it stick on something that I know is going to have a nice surface for it to lay on. So this is one of the few reefs that I keep layering with my greenery first i don't do this anymore because i tend to know that i love these bright pretty florals so i like to put the florals in first and then put the greenery like tuck them in to place so this is just another way that you can do this but um i wanted a full looking wreath on here and i definitely got that so after i put all of these greenery pieces in that were a combination of dollar tree and walmart buys i then took these white like blush kind of roses from dollar tree i believe it was two bouquets two or three bouquets and put those all around and then for some, for my filler florals i have these white wisteria flowers and i just fill those in so i can get a, a nice contrast of my green and white florals and i think it just makes everything pop absolutely love this now, a lot of times I always feel like my wreaths are incomplete. So 
I had this hello word um, from Dollar Tree and then a scrap piece of MDF board from uh, another sign from Dollar Tree. Um, all I did was uh, remove the paper or attempted to remove the paper on the front of it, cover it up with some brown craft paper so you don't see it, and then give it two coat paints of my white chalk paint. And then I also painted the hello word um, white as well. And I had to give that about three coats, I believe. Once everything was dry, I went ahead and painted, <laughs> painted. I went ahead and hot glued the hello word onto that board and then hot glued the board onto the back of the wreath. Once I turned the wreath around, I just hot glued the board onto the burlap on the back and then I used a piece of nautical rope to give it a little bit extra support to make sure it stands up. Like And like I will say again, if you've been around for a little while, you have seen this wreath before. And you guys, this wreath is still hanging up in my house. It has not fallen. Nothing has come apart. It looks great. It is gorgeous. And I get many compliments on it from myself every day. <laughs> Just kidding. But I absolutely love this wreath. Alright dolls, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and got some really good inspiration, ideas, tips, and hacks on how to create your next beautiful wreath. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you check out Craft Ease and remember my discount code DIYAMBER20. Be blessed, stay safe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! your day with me if you're new here my name is amber michonne and i did okay oh you want me to you seriously want me to change the channel if i can't do that right now is you're not gonna have any sound you cool with that chloe wants to say hi 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 go he said go he said, go. Say, go, Chloe. Go. Go. Mom is big baby. Frozen. Huh? Frozen. Okay. <laughs>